Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be hooking up your controller to your Mac and playing Stadia right here on your Mac. So, first of all, what you guys need is the cable that came with your Stadia controller. So this is the cable, and we're gonna have to plug that in right here, and then plug this end into your iMac. If you guys have a MacBook Pro, same thing. If you guys have a newer MacBook Pro where you don't have this regular USB, yes, you're gonna need that USB-C to regular USB adapter and then you guys can hook it up. So right now we're just gonna hook this up to the back of the iMac. Once we hook up our controller, we should see this light. It's a white and it's a steady white light. So once you have your controller hooked up, then go into Google Chrome and in Google Chrome, what you guys want to do is go to stadia.google.com. Just make sure you're logged into your Google account that's linked to your Stadia account. Okay, that way it's gonna go directly onto this page. If you guys were playing Destiny 2, it's gonna load that up or it's gonna load up any other games. If you guys want to play right now, not using your mouse, using your controller right now, you guys can do everything you want. So if you notice that your controller's not working right away, however, it does have that steady white light on it, which means it's connected, then don't worry about it. Just unhook it and hook it back up. Once you hook it back up, then it should detect it right away. So press any button on your controller to see if it does something, okay? So right now it took a screenshot because I was pressing a lot of buttons in order to get it to be working already. So I can go ahead and press A and it's gonna take me right into the game. So that's exactly what you guys want. You want to press something on your controller in order for it to know that you're playing with your controller and you're not playing with mouse and keyboard. Sometimes it does get confused between if you guys want to play with mouse or keyboard because you touched your mouse and it's detecting that right now. So right now I'm just gonna press allow up here. There we go, that's okay. I'm just gonna press A. I'm not gonna touch my keyboard or mouse for that matter so it, this doesn't create any confusion. And it's that seamless. It's not gonna have to download anything. It's gonna slowly load up depending on your Wi-Fi speed. If you guys are having lag issues, sometimes Ethernet cable will help you out. Right now, I'm just gonna choose Hunter, go ahead. So you guys know my speed is at 60 megabytes download and 10 megabytes upload. The iMac that I'm using right now, it's um, iMac 5K 27 inch, it's the latest model. However, this works the same way if you guys have a MacBook, Mac mini, Mac Pro, it's gonna be the same thing. All you guys have to do is download Google Chrome, which is a browser that's 100% compatible with all Macs. Just in case I did get some comments from some people being stuck on this screen, and that's okay. If you guys get stuck on that screen, which can happen, then what I suggest doing is just turning off and turning back on. Um, usually just, turn, just shutting down Google Chrome and then launching Google Chrome back up that does the trick. Sometimes you guys do have to shut down your computer and then just bring it back on. So right now we're gonna play a little bit so you guys can see how it is. On um, Google Chrome, I haven't had that much of experience playing with Google Chrome. I've uh, played a little bit more using the Chromecast on my TV. It just makes more sense. Oh, I forgot to hack this. All right, and don't be afraid if your Stadia lags, so the game lags a little bit in the start, it's kind of normal, like right now, you saw that lag. That's okay, it seems to get better and better as you play more and more. Not sure why that is, but that's the way it's been working so far. So the computer that you guys can use According to Google, you can use a really old computer with not much graphics and stuff. Um, this iMac should be perfect for gaming since we got a couple gigs for the graphic card. And we also have Mac, almost maxed out RAM. This is an iMac. 2019 
So with the 5K screen, I can appreciate this being 4K more. Whoa, that's, that, that was a lot of lag that happened right there. So right now for me, since I am using cable as my internet, it does get slower at certain times. So from five o'clock that people get home until around 8 p.m., that's when internet speeds slow down a little bit. However, mine maintains about, it goes as slow as 40 megabytes for downloading, and it does stay pretty steady for that 10 megabyte upload. Anyways, Stadia should work seamlessly on your Mac. Again, right now I am in kind of a peak hour for internet use, that means my internet will slow down a little bit more than if I use it during the day since cable. Um, again, it's around, you know, it will go as low as 40 megabytes per second download but it's usually very steady at 60. And with those speeds, according to Google, I should be more than fine. Anyways, guys, that would be it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to hook up your controller and how to play on Google Chrome right here on your Mac, which is pretty much the same thing on any computer for that matter. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.